Hello, and welcome to art class. I've got a really cool activity planned for us today. We're going to make a type of drawing that maybe you've never made before. Maybe you have made these, because to be honest, I think I learned this idea from some of my students. I've seen them do it, and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. So I'm going to show you how to make something really neat. Um, it's going to be like a face on a paper that can have a closed mouth and then you open it up and it opens. All right, so you might have seen something like that before. I'm gonna show you how to do it and we'll get a little creative and have fun to see what we can, what different ones we can make. All right. Let me get my camera all set up right here. Thank you for your patience. There we go. Okay. Need a little more light. That's good. Okay. All right. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. I haven't actually made a whole lot of these. I've just seen uh, ones that students made and been like, wow, that's really neat. So you're going to take a piece of paper. Just any kind of paper. You can work with whatever you got. And something to draw with. I'm gonna grab a crayon. And just start with this nice green. Okay, so. What you are going to do is you're going to fold one part of the paper up to the middle. Like that. Right. To the middle. And then this one's going to fold up. Sorry if it's a little complicated. I will I will walk you through it again after we do it. That one folds up here. And then this one folds back down. So, I know you might not have gotten that. It's hard to show this on a camera. But what we're going for is this, where it's folded like that, okay? It's folded like... Two mountains, or the letter M. Okay. So I'll leave this one like that so you can see. I'll just do another one. So we're trying to fold it like the letter M or like two mountains. So fold the top part down a little bit. Like that. Then I flip it over. Fold it down again up to that line. Then I flip it over again. And fold it down. Okay, you get this. Okay. I will do one more in case you missed it, okay? And I'll see if I can explain it in a different way. So, top of the paper, and you just fold that down a little bit over the halfway mark. It doesn't have to be exact, just fold that top one down, okay? And then you take your paper, you flip it over. Did you flip your paper over? Okay. Now find this part where you folded it to last time. And you're gonna take that top and fold it back to this end here. See? So you take it, fold it back. So this lines up here. Right? And then you're gonna it again and fold that top part down to the bottom. Okay? So, if you missed it, you can always go back in the video and try again, but you should be able to get that, okay? So this part is going to be the face, and what we do is we open it up and there's something else inside, okay? So I'll start with the basic one that's just kind of like um, a person or a kid, right? So we'll draw the shape for the head that I'm going to use. This. I'm going to leave the top open because I want to add some hair. Okay. And then the top of the mouth has to be here. So I actually made, actually made the head a little high, but that's okay. It's going to be a funny drawing anyway. So these are the lips. I just drew the lips. And I'll draw two eyes. Sorry, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to say when you sneeze. <laughs> so there's my little dude. It looks pretty funny. I like it. 
<laughs> the amount ended up being really high up, but it makes it look funny. So, cool. And then what I do is I'm gonna open it, okay? I got all this blank space, so I have to connect it. So, the top of the face, I'm gonna draw it down to the bottom here. Top of this face, drawing down to the bottom. Also, it looks like we have some more hair to fill in here. There we go. And then this is all mouth. So you can do whatever you want with this. This is where you get really creative. So I'm gonna make the mouth open like this. And you can put anything in there. So the idea is you got this little face and it can go like, blah! Isn't that fun? It's almost like a puppet, right? Hello! Blah! Okay, so what you put inside, that is completely up to you. I mean, you can get super creative with it. This guy, I'm gonna give this one a tongue. And on top of his tongue is a cheeseburger. And the cheeseburger has a face. And it's kind of like, please don't eat me. pretty funny and you know I can spend some time coloring that or adding more details um, but I'll move on to another one so that we can see more examples but yeah go for it you make whatever you want with that look at that so it goes like this see cool and these are really fun to like show to somebody hey like hey look what I made and kind of surprise them. Open it up. Whoa, that's cool, right? So I'm just gonna make a bunch of these, okay? I'm just gonna try different things and get, I'm gonna just try to push the limits of it creatively, all right? When you have your, your little paper like this, you do have to like open up the bottom to draw. You see how that goes? So like, I have it like this, I'm gonna pull this bottom part out. I have to unfold this bottom part to draw, right? That's what we want. Alrighty. So hopefully you're drawing, and then we can just draw together. Maybe I'll make one that I spend a little more time on. Make a really nice one. Actually, you know, I'll make another real quick goofy one, and then I'll make a really nice one. Get a little practice first and then spend some time on them. These are my warm-ups. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. These are just my warm-ups. I had a good black in here, but you know what happened? I broke it, because that's what I do. Either these crayons, they didn't make them with grown-ups in mind, or I just love my art so much. I'm just, my hands are giving the crayons little love hugs all the time. Okay. I'm like a robot. That's cool. make a malfunctioning robot. Oh, and look at that, I broke a crayon. say I don't know my own strength, but I did totally just call it before I even made this, that I was going to do that.
Well, I hope you're all doing okay out there. I hope that at the very least, uh, you can come to art class and have a little time of peace. Just a little, little quiet break to just chill out. Let loose a little bit. Be a little goofy, maybe, if you feel like it. At least some time to express yourself and focus on something. There's a lot going on right now, so... Um, it's a good time to make some art. Sometimes it's good to put your focus into something else for a little bit. Even if it's just making a silly little malfunctioning robot here. And I like doing these. I like, uh, I feel close to all of you. I feel like I'm hanging out with you. Even though you're not here with me. I definitely feel like I'm with my students in some way. Although I do miss being with you in person. I miss all your smiling faces and your cool ideas. And your art. And the way you all make me laugh. But it's nice that we can we can be here and do this together. Art is not always just about making a, some great masterpiece or making even making something that's super amazing. Sometimes it's just about having an experience, having a special little time or you know, connecting with people even, like we're doing right now. One thing I'm appreciating about art, appreciating about art right now is, it gives me a feeling of something a little unexpected. You remember what that's like to have unexpected things going on? <laughs> I mean, I know there's a lot of unexpected things going on in the world, but kind of, you know, when we're at home, kind of not going anywhere and going through our routines at home, Sometimes it feels like, you know, we're doing all the same things. We know just what's, what's going to happen. We know what to expect. And one thing I miss about seeing other people, like all of you, is that feeling of, well, I don't know what's going to happen. All of these people are going to be around me, and we all have our own things going on. And uh, there's kind of a mystery and excitement to that. So art gives me a feeling of that mystery and excitement. It gives me a feeling of something new out of the ordinary or unexpected can happen either when I make art or even when I look at other people's art. I was just thinking I miss going to art galleries, you know, places where people hang art up on the wall, like at coffee shops or the Rochester Art Center, things like that, because you get that feeling of not knowing what to expect and seeing something completely out of the blue. It's nice. So maybe you can give somebody that experience with this art. Maybe you show somebody this, you know, and they think they don't know what is going to happen here, right? You're like, look at this, and what is that all about? And then you go, wow, and you really surprise them. And they go, man, I have not felt a surprise like that in a while. Thank you for showing me that. So that's one thing you can do with this art. This robot's having some troubles internally, it looks like.
I'll make some sparks shooting out. It's okay, it's okay, hold it together, and then he's just like, Bleh! That's a fun one. <laughs> you know, this makes me excited to just hand this to somebody and be like, hey, check this out. This it's like opening a little present. Oh, that's a cool idea. You could make one that's like a present, like a little box, and you open it up and there's something inside. You know, it doesn't have to be a face. It could be something totally different. Maybe I'll make one that's a box. That's a cool idea. On the outside, it has to look just completely boring and ordinary. It's tricky to fold these sometimes. spending a lot of time just on the box. This was supposed to be the boring part, but I'm just getting really into shading it and adding these different layers of colors. See, like I'm using some blue in the shadows and I use some yellow in the highlights. Even though a cardboard box is just brown, sometimes if you can kind of sneak in some other colors for the shadows or the highlights, then you'll add a little more, it'll be a little more interesting. You'll have just kind of this secret 
colorful quality, even if it's just in brown. See that? All right, and then I get to draw what's in the box. Make it look like the box is being ripped open. I'm gonna send my friend a package with some things, and I think I was thinking of some art to include. So maybe I'll put this in there for him. This might be a nice surprise for him to open up in his package. It's always fun to think of what you can do with your art after you make it. Because sometimes you just make the art and you're like, yeah, that's good. I, all that was, like I'm glad that I made that, and it was all just about the experience of making it. But sometimes you feel like, man, I made that, now what? Like, I want my art to go out into the world and do something, right? So it's up to you as the artist to find out what you do with it. And for me, for this one, maybe it's sending it to my friend in a package so he can open it up and be surprised and have a little bit of, of that feeling of unexpected wonder in his life. And that's what this art's gonna do. Far, there's a lot of noodles in the box.
color is called macaroni and cheese. This is, that's a public service announcement for you. Attention, Rochester Public School students, this color is called macaroni and cheese. You can now return to your business. Thank you. crazy looking box so far, gotta say. I guess this is the one that I kind of got carried away with that I spent a lot of time on. Didn't turn out to be a face at all, like these two. That's okay. It's a pretty cool drawing, I think. I like it. That's my friend. But really, we call him Snacks. That's his nickname. So I'm going to write Snacks instead. when you know that you're making something for somebody it kind of motivates you to do your best because you just like you know how much they're gonna like it or you want to make it so that they'll be excited when they see it so you you put a little more work into it because you know what's gonna happen with it that's a good thing 
it's good to make your art with some sense of purpose. Like, why am I making this? And like I said before, sometimes that reason is just because you want to make some art and it's a fun thing to do. That's good. And you know what? I just realized something. We've just passed the 30 minute mark. I got so into making this art, I lost track of time. That happens to all of us. Trust me, I know, I've been your teacher. <laughs> okay, well, let's just take a look at them. You got this one. This one. And this one. I don't know why they all have to make a noise. It just kind of happens. I don't remember drawing that into them, but they just make noises when you open them. It's so weird. So, that was fun. That was really fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you soon. Join up on the Art Hangouts if you haven't done that already. Just look in the description to the video for the information for that. You join the Google Classroom, and then I'll post meeting times and meeting links, and we hang out and make art together. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Let me know if you need anything.